Hello everybody, welcome back! Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 provided us with a better understanding of Rocket Raccoon's origins. His past is a shocking and tragic story, which started when the High Evolutionary decided to create the perfect civilization. And here is what we've discovered about Rocket's sad backstory. Subject 89P13 calls itself Rocket the result of illegal genetic and cybernetic experiments on a lower life form. The first two parts of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies demonstrated Rocket's horrible scars and metal parts of his body. And in the third film, we finally discovered how this tiny raccoon had got them. Well, I didn't ask to get made! I didn't ask to be torn apart and put back together over and over and turned into some... Some little monster. Rocket's story began when a mad scientist named the High Evolutionary decided to create an ideal society on a planet called Counter-Earth. We have but a single quest, to create the perfect species and the perfect society. The new world was supposed to be inhabited by human animals, the hybrids of different species. Thus, the High Evolutionary acquired different animals, including a tiny raccoon from North America, for his terrifying medical experiments. The scientist didn't see anything special in Rocket. It was just another animal randomly chosen by the villain. The High Evolutionary designated the raccoon as 89P13 because he was part of the 89th batch of creations. Stitch him up and transfer him in with the rest of batch 89. Later, Rocket was subjected to horrifying experiments. The High Evolutionary genetically and surgically enhanced the tiny raccoon. The movie showed us the sutures from the operation on his brain and a lot of metallic plates sticking out of his body. As a result, he's got a cybernetic skeletal structure, genetically augmented cerebral cortex, modified phalange and metacarpal bones. All these changes significantly enhanced our beloved superhero's strength and intelligence. Besides, Nebula admitted that Rocket's surgeries were even worse than the tortures Thanos had inflicted upon her. Why did he never tell us about any of this? This is worse than what Thanos did to me. In between the experiments, the little raccoon was kept in a cage where he made friends with other members of the 89th batch, including Lila, an otter with mechanical arms, Tiefs, a walrus with large wheels, and Floor, a bunny with mechanical spider legs and a mouth speaker. The friends dreamed of flying into the forever and beautiful sky on a giant spaceship built by Rocket. And me and my friends are gonna go flying together into the forever and beautiful sky. Also, the enhanced raccoon spent a lot of time together with his creator, asking him questions about various topics, including art and science. What sounds? That's music. We like it? <laughs> we do. Unlike other test subjects, Rocket was highly intelligent. He was able to think independently instead of just memorizing the already known facts, Thus, he managed to solve the problem of his creator's device to forcefully speed up thousands of years of evolution. The solution worked, and that was the end for the 89th batch. You're simply a medley of mistakes we could learn from and apply to the creatures that truly mattered. The evil genius revealed that Rocket and his friends would never see his new world. Batch 89 was never meant for the new world, P13. He decided to explore the raccoon's brain and kill the rest of the animals. Incinerate them. Luckily, Rocket had a secret plan to escape from the High Evolutionary's lab on a nearby spaceship. The raccoon built a key to the cages where he and his friends were imprisoned. They want to kill us all in the morning. <gasps> what? But I'm going to fix it. But the villain predicted such a possibility and appeared as soon as the animals were ready to run. He cruelly killed Lila, making Rocket overwhelmed with rage. He attacked his creator and ripped off his face with claws. Although Rocket managed to kill the guards, his friends, Teefs and Floor, got fatally injured. 
The shocked raccoon still managed to steal a spaceship and escape, but his heart was full of grief and anger. Fortunately, later he met Groot and the other members of the Guardians, who became his new family, saved his life, and even helped Rocket settle scores with the High Evolutionary. Moreover, the superhero finally accepted his nature and called himself Rocket Raccoon. The name's Rocket. Rocket Raccoon. Now he's the new captain of Guardians of the Galaxy, and there's no doubt that our beloved raccoon deserves to be a leader of this amazing team. And what do you think about Rocket Raccoon in his past? Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel updates.